Hello friends, in this tutorial I am going to show you how to install Backtrack 5R3 on a VMware workstation for Windows. You need a couple of things to get started. First of all you need a VMware workstation product you can get them by visiting vmware.com, click on download now to get free 30 days trail version. The other thing you need is the latest release of Backtrack 5R3 ISO file. To download that follow the link given in video description, scroll down and click on download and the download menu will appear. Now under release select the drop down menu and select Backtrack 5R3. If you want to select an earlier version you can go ahead do so. Now under window manager you can select Genome or KDE, it really depends on whether or not you want the ability to customize Backtrack's graphical user interface. The Genome version doesn't give you many options for customization whereas the KDE version will enable you to fully customize your user interface with things like window decorations, widgets, themes, login screens and things of that nature. So I'm going to select KDE. Now under architecture, your choice of architecture depend on your system's processor if your system as a 64-bit processor select 64, and if your system as a 32-bit processor select 32. You should take a 32-bit option as recommended even if you have a 64-bit system, it's going to work better in the virtual machine. Now under image type select ISO. And under download type select direct. Click the button that says click to download and this will begin the download. So once you get those things, go ahead and install VMware Workstation, Right now I am using VMware Workstation 9 for Windows but don't worry the whole process is also same for VMware Workstation 10. Now to start's installation click on next. Now select typical and click on next. Next, next. Continue. Skip and finish. Ok now installation is done, go ahead and fire up VMware Workstation. Select yes to accept the license agreement and click on OK. Now we're going to create a new virtual machine. Click here and that'll start up the wizard and then I recommend that you choose the typical that is recommended installation option. Make sure that selected and click next. We're going to select the disk image file. Now browse to find it. We're going to choose the backtrack 5R3 ISO and click open. Now go ahead and click next. For operating system make sure you select Linux, now for version if you download the 64-bit version of Backtrack you wanna select Ubuntu 64-bit if you download the 32-bit version, you'll simply select Ubuntu. Now provide a virtual machine name. It's going to save that to your default file if you'd like to save that to a different location, like to an external hard drive you can select the location at this point. Click on next. The maximum disk size that it's going to use by default is 20 GB now but you can bump this up as per your requirement. Ok here I'm going to suggest that you split the virtual disk into multiple files. That will make it easier to copy for example if you want to copy it from your hard drive to any external hard drive for a either a flash drive or something or other like that those files are split into multiple files. Go ahead and click next. You can verify the installation parameters here and to change them click on customize hardware option. After that click finish. Now click on power on virtual machine. Now it is going to begin building backtrack 5 in a virtual machine window. Right at the boot menu select backtrack text, default boot text mode and press enter. Now we're gonna type start x and then press enter and that's going to start backtrack graphical user interface. Alright now the backtrack is finished booting, we need to click the install backtrack icon and this will start the installation wizard. Now go ahead and select your language and click forward. It will automatically configure your clock if you want to change your time zone go ahead do so and then click forward. Alright you can go ahead and select a keyboard layout I recommend using the suggested option. Once you've done that click forward. Now make sure you select erase and use the entire disk, you don't need to worry about your hard disk is being erased because this is being installed in a virtual machine. Once you've done that click forward. Now here is an overview of your backtrack configurations. If everything looks good. 
Go ahead and click install and that's going to begin the installation process. Now the installation process can take a while so you're gonna need to be patient. Now Backtrack is installed permanently in virtual machine and you can delete the ISO file that you downloaded. Now to shut down your Backtrack, click on Backtrack icon, go to leave and then click on end session. Now click on logout. Now enter the command, shut down, space, tag H, space, zero and hit enter. When you turn on Backtrack again it will ask for a username and password. Here the by default username is root and password is tour. That's it friends, I hope you guys found this tutorial useful. Thanks for watching and please rate, share and subscribe.